Dang. Is this a 2021 Dodge Durango GT with the 10 inch screen? What is up guys? In today's video, I will be doing a startup and walk around of the 2021 Dodge Durango GT Plus. As you guys could see, the front face is a whole lot different than the older one. This thing looks beautiful. And it does have the new 10 inch screen display in the inside. It's pretty amazing. Dodge really did their thing this year. The side looked the same to me. The wrangle. The GT. Let's go and remote start it so you guys can see the daytime running light. It's super bright today. Look at that light. Let's unlock it. We even have fog lights. I gotta put those on for you guys so you guys could see. This is the key fob. Keyless entry, remote start. Hit the key twice to remote start it. The car's gonna start up for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, it's gonna shut down. If the car start up and shut off, that means you're low on gas. So keyless entry right here. You can lock it. Put your hands on the back. Unlock it. Don't do this because the car is going to get confused. It's not going to know whether it's lock or unlock because this is to unlock. This is to lock. So to unlock, walk right in. It does have four seats for the driver. Look at the new screen. Since we remote started, you're going to have to push the start button to start the car like normally. Look at that. So nice. Let me close this door. Let me turn the other direction. The sun is like right up there and it's just super blurry. The thing is beautiful. Look at the backup camera. The quality is amazing. Okay, now that we're out of the sun, let's check this thing out. This is the new screen. Oops, that's in reverse. <laughs> Look at the new screen. It's amazing. All this. You get all your awesome feature up top. You go home. So you got a split screen now with the GPS and the radio. If you want the full screen GPS, just tap here on the left. You get the full screen. You could tap home. If you want full screen radio, tap here. You get full screen radio. It's new to me, so I don't know much, but um, I was playing with it earlier, so I'm going to try to tell you guys everything I know. So your presets there in the bottom, the older model, it was on top, as you guys would know, in the 8.4 inch touch screen. You got your controls, everything looks so different. Your navigation. And I'm assuming you could zoom in and out as the old ones. Pretty cool. Your phone, you could set it up via Bluetooth. The vehicle. Pretty cool. Then you got your apps. It said Alexa, which is pretty cool. So I'm assuming it have Alexa. On the steering wheel, we're going to hit the voice recognition and say maybe set passenger temperature to... 60 degrees and see what happened or how it sounds. Beep. Set passenger temperature to 60 degrees. I've set the temperature to 60 degrees. That is pretty amazing. You could tell it to change channels and all that as well using this. Just make sure the vehicle is quiet. The windows, they're not down or anything crazy. It's pretty cool. Then here, you got your um, little shifters. They're smaller to me and they feel more 
sturdy and nice. And the steering wheel is like flat, like the SRT, a little bit more sporty, which is pretty cool. There we go. And look at the cluster. It looks so beautiful. It looks more sporty. Then you have your different modes you could go in and out of, which is pretty cool. But this is what I like about it. Like the new 10 inch display and the front uh, face. That is really nice. Then you got this. This is totally different too. You got the shifter. You got this right here. Like this comes up. This look pretty nice. You got your cup holders. I want to see more about this. Look at this. This looks so nice. And this one does have the sunroof. Pretty nice. Let's go check out the back. This is a new car, so you're gonna see plastic everywhere. Let's see if I know how to take the seat down right here. That goes down. You can put these up. It does have third row seat in. You can control the heat and AC from the back. It has four vents, a lot of lights. It's pretty nice. Let's pop the trunk and see. Thing is pretty nice. Look at all that beauty. Pretty nice. Does it come with a spare tire? Let's see. Yes, it does. It's underneath instead of in the car like the Grand Cherokees. Pretty cool. Hit this once. It goes down. It's pretty nice. Let's go look at, let me turn the hazard lights on and everything so you guys could see um, everything. Where is the hazard right here? So you just press that down for hazard. Let's turn the lights on, the fog lights. I didn't turn the fog lights on. <laughs> Let's try that again. Because usually I keep it on automatic and um... It just turned the lights on for you automatically, but that's when it's dark. There you go. The front face look different. It's so nice. You even have hazards on your side mirrors as well. Flash turn signals. This one is 47. See, it's dark because I took it off auto. Put in auto, close this. Turn it off. Auto on, off, sports, eco mode, traction, the parking sensors. This is for the fan, volume screen off let's say it's dark you're using your own um, gps or not even your gps your your music and it's dark out you could always turn the screen off and the music's still going to be playing in the background and to turn that back on you just tap on it once turn back on or you could press this to turn it back on it's pretty cool look at this pretty cool way different design it look more nice and luxurious like the older ones they look okay but a new design is always good you know so that is pretty cool it's a big screen and that's nice you don't want a little screen in this super huge long car so i just wanted to talk about the um the screen let you guys see the 2021 dodge durango it does look beautiful if you guys like videos like this don't forget to 
like, subscribe, comment, and put your bell notification on. And thank you guys for watching as usual. See you guys in the next one. And I'll go for a little drive so you guys can see how it drives. Let's put it in sport mode. Just press that. If the light is on, that means you're in whatever mode you set it on. So let's go. It is a 3.6 V6, so it's nothing crazy. Before we go, let's put my seatbelt on. I keep forgetting to put my seatbelt on in a couple of past videos and the noise sucks. <laughs> slow at all it's nothing fast or crazy but for a big SUV it's not slow the transmission shift awesome is pretty nice look at that beautiful screen this thing is beautiful Shift's awesome. Just wanted to let you guys hear and see how it drive. That's gonna be it.